Hey guys, I wanted to address concerns over CXMT, which is a company in China that is ramping up production of these memory trips, uh, these memory chips, uh, DRAM. Okay, and some people are worried that that's going to eat into Micron and cause you know the stock to go down. So I and other memory stocks, but the reason why Micron is okay is number one. 10% only of their revenue comes from China, guys. NVIDIA is about 12%. That's why I like these companies. When things go bad in China, it's okay because they have a small uh, portion of the revenue coming from China, okay? And also, CXMT, guys, does not have advanced chips like Micron, even like Samsung or Hynix. Those are the three that have 80% market share, okay, with the DRAM space. They are not into the less advanced chips, and that's where the capacity, right, is starting to build, okay? So that's why you don't have to worry about it right now. They also say Chinese companies are about six to eight years behind the U.S. with, you know, where we're at with our advanced chips compared to them. Because remember, the uh, controls that we have, we're not allowing those advanced chips unless they're getting it, right, the back route through the Middle East or whatever, right? They'll probably get them, okay? But they do say their technology is behind a little bit compared to where, you know, Micron is, for example, okay? So I'm not worried about it right now. It could be an issue down the road, but that's not a reason to get out of Micron stock. I still believe there's a great opportunity holding this, guys. Their HBM, which is their high bandwidth memory chips, that's what's the AI chips there, okay, that are crushing it right now. They're sold out through 2025, and that's why supply is way less than demand, and that's a good setup for this stock to go higher.